Buenos días, buen día, buenas tardes. Good morning, good day, good evening. My name is Parviz Malakuti. I am an immigration lawyer and I'm going to show you in this video how to read the U.S. Visa Bulletin. The Visa Bulletin is used to determine how long the relatives of green card holders and U.S. citizens have to wait before a visa is made available to them. Uh, in short, it's just kind of like a waiting list. So let's get right into it. First of all, we go to Google and we are going to find the most recent visa bulletin available. Today's date is February 26, 2019. We already have the March visa bulletin available to us, so we're going to click on March. This takes us to the Department of State website. And there's a lot of text and a lot of charts here. We want to focus on the charts in section 4A and 4B. Okay, so um, we have to determine which of these two charts that we are going to use. So the way we do that is we go to the last paragraph in section 4B. It says visit USCIS.gov slash visa bulletin info for information on whether USCIS has determined that this chart can be used in lieu of the chart in paragraph 4A. This month for filing applications for adjustment of status with USCIS. Click on that link. This is going to take us to the USCIS website. And we're going to go down to next month's adjustment of status filing charts. It says for family sponsored filings, you must use the date the dates for filing chart in the Department of State Visa Bulletin for March 2019. The dates for filing chart. Let's go back to the Visa Bulletin. And hey, what do you know? Here we have the dates for filing chart. Dates for filing family sponsored visa applications. So for today, we're going to use the chart in 4B. So this is the chart. As I mentioned before, uh, there are many charts and the, char the charts in 4A and 4B, the framework is the same if you look at it here, but the dates included are different, okay? Uh, I'm not going to go into why you, we use one chart or the other um, in, in any given month in this video. However, if you want more information on that, check out my video on the Visa Bulletin. Um, anyway, getting back to this document, okay, so... Now we need to know how to read this. Okay, so first of all, if you see at the top of each column, uh, starting from left to right, we have the words family sponsored. Then we have all chargeability areas except those listed. And then we have four countries listed, China, India, Mexico, Philippines. Okay, so first of all, family sponsored. So the codes underneath these words, family sponsored, each correspond to a different relationship between the beneficiary and the petitioner. So in an I-130 petition for alien relative, which is the first step that someone takes to bring their relative over for a green card, the petitioner is the U.S. citizen or the green card holder that's filing the application on behalf of their relative. The person who's looking to get the green card to come over, the relative, is known as the beneficiary, okay? So we need to find out what the relationship is between the petitioner and the beneficiary, and we also need to find out what country the beneficiary is from, okay? Which is why we deal with these columns over here, okay? So... Beneficiaries from China, India, Mexico, and Philippines each get their own column with their own dates. And then there's this category, which is all chargeability areas except those listed. This is what we call the rest of the world category because anybody from any country, any beneficiary from any country other than these four countries, China, India, Mexico, and Philippines, has to use this column, okay? We, they all get lumped into the same column. So pe a person from France a person from Iceland, a person from Brazil, a person from Japan. They all use the all chargeability areas except those listed. Okay, so now I have a sample I-797 notice of action and we're going to bring up this sample so we can take a look at two important pieces of information. Uh, one is the priority date and the other is the notice type. Okay, so uh, we're going to use this document this notice of action as a sample so we can try to read the visa bulletin uh, with actually an, an example of a, 
of a, tip, a petition that's been filed. So first of all, the notice type. It says approval notice section, brother or sister of U.S. citizen. So by reading this, we know that this notice of action corresponds to a petition that was filed on behalf of a brother or sister of a U.S. citizen. So that gives us the relationship. Let's go back to the visa bulletin. Okay, now which one of these family-sponsored categories is the brother or sister of a U.S. citizen? Well, we can't know, there's no way of knowing just by looking at this chart, right? Because these are just codes. Okay, so we need to find out which code to use. For that, we come up to he, this uh, heading, which says family sponsored preferences. And I'm going to skip right to the answer. Fourth, F4. F4, brothers and sisters of adult US citizens. Okay, so we're going to come back down to our chart, F4. So that's what we're going to, that's the family sponsored category we're going to use for our sample. Okay. And now we're going to take a look at these dates. Okay, these are obviously dates 22 June 2006. That refers to the 22nd of June 2006. This is known as the cutoff date, the cutoff date. Okay, what this date means is that people who have a have filed their application, their petition for alien relative before this date now have a visa available to them. So people who have filed their I-130 before this date now have a visa available to them. So how long is it taking for, let's say, a brother from France, okay? I use France because we're going to use the all chargeability areas listed, okay? So the way we calculate that is very simple. We take the difference in time between this priority, excuse me, this cutoff date and today's date. So today's date is February 26, 2019. This cutoff date is June 22nd, 2006. Okay. The difference in time is roughly 12 years and eight months. Okay. So right now, somebody who is from France that is waiting, a brother or sister that is from France that is waiting for a green card has to wait roughly 12 years and eight months. Okay. How about China? How about a brother or sister that lives in China? Well, this, you see here, there's the same date, 22 June 2006. So somebody, a brother or sister from China has to also wait roughly 12, 12 years and eight months. How about India? India is even longer. For India, the brother or sister would have to wait 13 years. For Mexico, the brother or sister would have to wait 20 years and three months. And again, uh, that's just by measuring the 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 difference in time between this date, November 8th, uh, November 8th, 1998, and today's date, February 26, 2019. What about the Philippines? A brother or sister from the Philippines would have to wait roughly 21 years and one month. Okay, so that's it. That's how you read the U.S. Visa Bulletin. Uh, we're going to take this, this example one step further, and we're going to just take a look at the priority date. Okay, so the priority date in this sample is the date that we use. Okay, so this is our date. This date, this priority date is October 28th, 2010. Okay, so we're going to compare the priority date in that sample app, uh, petition with the cutoff date in the visa bulletin. Okay, so if this petition was filed for somebody from France, Okay, you can see that uh, the visas are not available yet for people who filed on June 22nd, 2006 or later. Well, we filed in October of 2010. So there's still a, about a four year wait if it's a brother or sister from France. Okay, same thing with China. Okay, if we filed for somebody, for a brother or sister from India and we're using that same petition with the priority date of October 28th, 2010. Well, unfortunately, the brother or sister from India has to wait for five years, a little bit over five years. How about Mexico? Okay, well, how much time is between November of 1998 and October of 2010? About 12 years, unfortunately. So the Mexican brother or sister, hermano, hermana, they have to wait about 12 more years, unfortunately. How about the Philippines? January 1998 to October 2010. 
that person, that brother or sister has to wait, unfortunately, about 13 years. Okay, so that's it. That's how you read the, the U.S. Visa Bulletin for family-based petitions. Uh, I hope this, this video was useful for you. And if you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.